had doubts. There was the whether I could do it or not, but um, probably the sophomore year and junior years when I really made the decision that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I can to get in the first cycle and um, get the experience I need. And just so happens that my senior year, I had to make a decision on whether or not to remain playing softball or get into a vet clinic and get more experience and focus on my grades. Haley came um, as a freshman and I remember when she pre-registered she was a freshman that coming from Kansas to play softball and my first impression was she's never gonna make it. She uh, she stepped away from home, she was a quiet kid and um, one thing about the softball team, they have a pretty good reputation of having good grades, so the coach was really a stickler about that, so I was looking forward to and that. So sophomore year, I had to make the decision on whether or not I wanted to go full, full blown into pre-vet and uh, make a couple sacrifices with my, um, whether it was instead of, you know, watching TV, I'd have to go to the library and study. Or so Haley, who came here from Kansas, um, to play softball in Arkansas, I actually made the decision to step away from softball to, to focus on uh, getting more experience in the field. And that, that was a very brave move in my mind on her part. That's the whole reason she came to this college. It was probably uh, about sophomore year where I really had to struggle between time management between school and softball. But I knew coming in, like I accepted Monticello to come here because it had the program I wanted. Great. Uh, because of the pre-vet uh, curriculum and still trying to get them to graduate in four years, they average probably 17 to 18 hours a semester and that's going to include some uh, a, a significant portion of that will be lab, labs to go with classes. For instance, physics one and two with labs, organic one and two with labs, those type of things. One second, one second. You get one? Uh, but after you get the, uh, the grades, there's another cut. You have to make another cut, and that other cut is your experience outside of the classroom. So at UAM, we really focus uh, our students on learning large animal work. Large animal work is, uh, is unique to a lot of students. That, uh, a lot of students that are applying for veterinary school do not have any idea how to work with cows, maybe not even know the terminology of cattle. So, um, so we really get them comfortable and work with cattle. We have a rodeo team, so we get them around horses. But you need to be well-rounded. So another aspect is working in a veterinary clinic with cats like Thomas here, where um, you get experience with small animal uh, work. So we have a good relationship with a veterinary clinic in town where we get those students uh, uh, exposed to, uh, to the small animal side so that they have a well-rounded application and they just kind of walk me through how to do stuff and then eventually they let me do it so I've gained a lot of hands-on experience and they're very welcoming and very kind and they um, are always willing to teach and have students come and learn from them. I was the only one that graduated with pre-vet this year. Haley Jean McGee, cum laude. And um, I grew up in a high school that graduated 500 uh, the town, Olathe's 200,000 people, and then I came to a little town, Monticello. It was a big adjustment, but I, I loved it here. Yeah.